Hey guys, it's Z-Man the Lego Man, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Iron Man Armory set that just came out, like, June 1st. Um, so, looking at the set here, all built up. Um, so, as you can see, it comes with a variety of different figures. So, as you can see, you got War Machine, you got the Mark 25 Striker Armor, you got the Mark 85, you got the Mark 3, um, and you even got the Tony Stark that you basically got from the Sicarian Hulk Buster, and you got Pepper from last year's Iron Man, Iron Monger Mayhem set, you got Nick Fury back there, right here, looking all spy like you got him in multiple different sets it, like he is like super cheap to get and a new figure you got whoop, a new figure whip flat whiplash from iron man 2 um so starting off with the build here the car build um i'm i'm not sure how i feel about this i think they could have lego could have did better so like they could have made it more look look more like an Audi, but I do appreciate how they added the Stark Eleven license plate to it that I madly respect, and I also like how they have the slot black slot there to hold hold the map. Well, not the map, the Stark Expo plans from uh nineteen seventy four. Um, and speaking of that, I like how they have it on a little wheel table, how you can display it and everything. Well, I'm holding them up upside down, but yeah, so like, I like how they have that. I also like how they have his little, um, how do you say it? It's, it's like a toolkit, tool bench. I don't really know. If y'all know, leave it in the comments below. I don't honestly know. Um, I'm not sure what this is, but I think it's supposed to be like parts, mismangled parts. And moving on to his desk. Um, so I like how they have the little new element plan here. And... Sorry, sorry guys. Um, and how they have the Captain America shield design like from Iron Man 2. I also like how on the screen display they have, um, well y'all can't, well you guys can barely see it, but on the screen they have like uh, si systems check for the Mark III torso and um, diagnostics for the Mark III suit itself. Um, knock Tony over. Um, and here they have like Tony in a little chair that is built buildable with his little coffee mug. Um, I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think they were trying to go for like a dummy build, but they completely messed up. Like they biffed it bad. Like. I uh, I can't even really tell what it is at this point. It may be a dummy build, but I can't even really tell. So moving along um, to the armor here, to the armory build. Um, well, first off, they have the suit up platform, which I made a small upgrade to, which... I think it looked good, all considering without my upgrade, little little addition to it. But um, I think they could have added like the arms and stuff to take off the suit. Um, and moving on to the armory, its build itself, you can see they have the. Well, you can barely see the light isn't good, so. But um, as you can see, they have like the Mark I reconstruction, reconstruction page on it. Mark I reconstruction page platform on it. 
and you have the Mark 25 right there. Then here, Tony, you can see Tony's working on his nanotech suit for the Mark 85. And um, down here, you can see the Mark III legs right there. Um, let me let me move the platform right quick. Um, you have Tony's wings for the Mark 85. You have a little cannon there, fire extinguisher. And right here, you have the Silver Centurion um, page on there. Little Silver Centurion, little Silver Centurion page right there. So, like, it's barely seen because the light is so bad, but anyway. Um, I'll give you a close-up near the end of the video, so better look at it. So, um... Uh, now for the figures, um... So, sorry, I gotta take him out of his little chair there. Um, and I'm kind of going to use them for the, use them on the display, on the display here so that y'all can have a better look. Um, so first figure up is Tony Stark. Um, as you can see, he has the rock shirt, rock, rock on shirt on from Iron Man 2 and Avengers. Because it was also, he also wore it in Avengers. Um, and he also has the black spiky hair. Personally, I like the more wavy hair. Um, and he has gray legs, but basically this entire figure is the one you got in the Sakari and Hulk Buster. So, I mean, I really wish they could have did, uh, have done better. Especially with the torso, because I wish they could have added the arc reactor for the torso, at least. So... Um, moving on, next is War Machine. I'm saving the suits for the end, the other suits for the end, so. Um, War Machine, he has a brand new look. So this is supposed to be like his first suit from Iron Man 2. Um, so as you can see, all the detail there, the helmet. I'm, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the helmets, um, yet, so I'm on the mend with that. The gun looks nice, except I added a little, the little exhaust thing that you got, and so the extra exhaust, that piece that you got from the, from the Audi is in there. Um, sorry guys, I'm working, working at it on my table, so I'm working with what I got here, so. Um, yeah, so I just put that little exhaust piece right there and then so that I can make the gun look better and not look like how it was from 2013 with the War Machine Mark II armor. Um, and like taking a closer look at this torso detail, I really like it. The legs, I really like, especially that they have the numbers if my camera would focus yeah, um, if my camera would focus, uh, yeah, it, it has numbers on them, uh, so yeah, I just like the detail of the entire figure, um, I really wish they could have done some leg printing or arm, mixed with arm printing, uh, like how they did for the Infinity War War Machine. So I wish they could have done that. Next figure is the... Not the Striker Armor. I don't know why I was grabbing for it. Is Nick Fury. Um, Nick Fury here. He's come in uh, lots of different sets, like I said earlier. Um, like the 2020 Helicarrier the um spider-man no way home junior set um he's also come in spider-man far from home the stark plane set um 
he he's just coming a lot of sets and he's like really cheap and i wish they could have made a better figure like the one from the 2015 avengers helicarrier because that one looks super good i mean they could keep the head because i like the head but just use the torso and legs for it and i think it would have been a lot a much better figure Pepper Potts, moving on to Pepper Potts. Uh, Pepper Potts, she's basically um, the same figure you got from the Iron Man, Iron Monger Mayhem set. She's not all that good. I really wish they could use the face from 20, 2013 and the hair from 2013 because I think this would make the whole, the whole figure look better. But for the legs, uh, they just need to, needed to use the Scarlet Witch legs from 2015 and that would have just made the figure look a lot better but other than that I mean you get what you get from Lego I just hope Lego can do better in the future with figures like this and next up is Whiplash with his blue whips the Whiplash figure I really like it it looks good like it represents him very well, uh, especially like under the helmet. So let me take the helmet off for y'all and put his hair on. So as you can see, he's got the cane and hair, which looks nice. The face just looks awesome. I was really expecting them to do a, um, like a, um the racetrack whiplash but i like this one much better because he's fully armored and just looks awesome um taking him up off for a closer look um so as you can see like the detail on the figure looks just good and i like how they did the shoulder pads and everything and i like how they did the back the back printing looks nice um i mean i just wish they could have added leg printing because that would have just made it a whole lot better i mean they didn't even really need arm printing for this because like with the shoulder pads it just doesn't really need it so what's the whole point in um doing that if you don't really need it next figure up is the mark 85 um, the Mark 85 has come in multiple different sets already, so I'm not too excited about that. I wish we could have gotten a substitute for it, like the Mark II or the Mark IV. Like, I was really hoping for the Mark IV, because the Mark IV, like, I didn't really like the Mark IV growing up, but re-watching the movies and stuff, it just got me back into it, and I was just like, oh man, the Mark IV just looks actually pretty nice. I hope lego can do it and when i first heard about this set i was like oh man they're gonna do the mark four i was just very excited from the confirmation videos so when i found out we were getting the mark three instead of the mark four i was disappointed because i was expecting the mark four so taking a closer look here not too much different just the helmet so like the back the torso and the legs are the same um the only difference really is the helmet um and it does come with a clear head a clear blue head under it which you can take off and put the wings on and he also came with like a little blade thing so that he can fight thanos with if you guys are interested in doing stuff like that but other than that i really have nothing much to say about this figure um last and certainly not least except i have to fix him back up because he was taken out of the equation almost when this the set came up so now you can see I'm dropping everything and stuff. 
Cause yeah, this suit is supposed to connect to the um, to the desk so that it can look like it's getting a systems check. So the Mark III, not much difference from the Ironmonger Mayhem set. Um, he basically looks the exact same except for the new helmet. Um, again, I don't know if I'm a big fan of the helmet. Um, I mean, it's it's all right. I think they could have just went with their original helmets, but um, whatever. It's it's Lego. Lego can do whatever they want. They they just make this stuff and expect us to buy it. So whatever. If we buy it, they're happy. So going up for a closer look, I like the detail on the helmet, on the mask. It looks nice. Um, it's but the torso and the legs are the same i was really expecting to get the mark four so i was just disappointed when i found out it was the mark three i don't know why i said last but not least because i forgot the most important figure in this set <laughs> um and that is the mark 25 striker armor um as you can see uh i like the like the jackhammer builds because they just like eloquently match the figure itself and I like the shoulder pads makes it look more bulky and meant to jackhammer things. I don't know what jackhammers are actually meant for. I think it's construction and stuff. But um so moving up close, the figure detail, I like the helmet on this figure cuz it works and I like the mask. The eyes sort of look like they're powered down, but if you move closer and shine light over it, it you can sort of see that it has a blue shade to it but um i love the chest like the torso the legs the shoulder pads the back printing the jackhammers like it all just looks amazing like they did a number on this figure and it came out amazing like lego you guys need to make the rest of the Iron Man suits. I don't care how you do it. Just make it and I'll be a happy camper. Because I've been an Iron Man fan since the first movie came out. I don't know. And I was like three. So first movie came out when I was three. And I really enjoyed it. So y'all, y'all, I don't care what people say. Just keep keep making them how you do. Because it's, it's working. So... Like, because Iron Man, he just wowed me on the big screen. Um, I wasn't a really big fan of Iron Man 2, but when he came back for Iron Man 3 and I saw the suits, I was just like, oh my gosh, Iron Man, like, look at him. Like, he's got so many suits here. It's like, it just looks so amazing to me. So, and I... Being an Iron Man fan, as much as I am, to see him go out the way he did in Endgame, I was upset. Because, like, how are you guys going to do that to the man who basically, like, fought his way out of a cave to get back to his life and save his life, but also learn to respect and save other lives like i just really like this this guy like he's like my favorite marvel hero so uh anyway this is the iron man armory set from 2022 and giving y'all a closer look at it So yeah, this is the Iron Man armory set from 2022 from the Infinity Saga wave. And I hope y'all will like and subscribe my video. Thank you. See y'all next time.